Good morning, lovelies. So it's one of those mornings where I kind of feel like I used to, I tried to curl my hair yesterday. Obviously that went great and it now does not hold a curl straight again, but with wild waves. So that's super fun. Anyway, everyone in my house is still asleep except my hair. She's She's doing fine. Harrietta for the win. Um, yeah, so I'm still waking up, clearly. But I kind of wanted to share a couple of things. First of all, I've been reading in Joel lately. And this is just not working for me, so I'm going to just do the ear tuck thing and try to make it manageable. There we go. I've been reading in the book of Joel lately because it has some really amazing amazing encouragement. I'm just going to read to you out of it and I'm going to tell you some really cool things that we've got going on with Wild that I wanted to share with you that are also encouraging to me. So, Joel chapter 2 starting at the end of verse 20 says, Surely the Lord has done great things. Don't be afraid, O land. Be glad now and rejoice, for the Lord has done great things. Don't be afraid, you animals of the field, for the wilderness pastures will soon be green. The trees will again be filled with fruit. The fig trees and the grapevines will be loaded down once more. Rejoice, people of Jerusalem. Rejoice in the Lord your God. For the rain he sends demonstrates his faithfulness. Once more, the autumn rains will come, as well as the rains of spring. The threshing floors will again be piled high with grain, and the presses will overflow with new wine and olive oil. The Lord says, I will give you back what you lost. I will give you back what you lost. To the swarming locusts and the hopping locusts and the stripping locusts and the cutting locusts. I don't know, does that sound familiar to you on any level? Being swarmed and hopped on and stripped and cut down. Maybe you've been through some of that. Hi, Denise. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Kim. Drop me a comment. Tell me where you're from, you guys. If you have felt swarmed and stripped and cut down, God says, once again, you will have all the food you want and you will praise the Lord your God who does these miracles for you. Never again will my people be disgraced. Then you will know that I am among my people Israel, that I am the Lord your God and there is no other. Never again will my people be disgraced. Then after doing all those things, now this is where it gets really cool. Then after doing all those things, I will pour out my spirit upon all people. All people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Not just sons, daughters as well. Your old men will dream dreams and your young men will see visions. And in those days, I will pour out my spirit even on servants, men and women alike. Verse 32, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. For some on Mount Zion in Jerusalem will escape, just as the Lord has said. These will be among the survivors whom the Lord has called. Well, it's a good passage. There is the promise that God will pour out his spirit on sons and daughters alike. And he says it twice on sons and daughters, men and women alike. And that he will bring back recompense for what you have lost. It may not look the same way. It may not be financial. It may not be in the same form of what was stripped away. 
but he promises never again will his people, excuse me, it wouldn't be complete without a yawn, right? But never again will his people be displaced, disgraced, sorry. And in verse, chapter 3, verse 16, it says, The Lord will be a refuge for his people and a strong fortress for the people of Israel. I have been loving the book of Joel this, this month. It's a beautiful, tiny little book, three little chapters, like 20, 25 verses each. Okay, maybe 30 verses. But still, a lot of power packed in this tiny little prophetic book. And I wanted to share it with you, even though I'm still in my robe and it's crazy in the morning. But all that being said, I also wanted to share with you. I've had a lot of people say, why don't you start a Patreon? Is there a place that we can like give every month to help with the expenses of Wild, to help with all the stuff that is provided? You know, I, I realize everybody can't do that. I mean, not, not everybody can afford to do that. And that's one of the reasons why, um, compared to a lot of places where you go to get resources, I try really hard to make a ton of things available for free. I mean, hundreds of videos on the YouTube channel and tons of giveaways and downloads on the wildernesstowild.com website. And that's super important to me. But I also realize there are people who would really like to be able to do kind of a Patreon thing, like monthly support and feel like you're a part of Wild. So, I've decided this fall to open that up and it has just opened. So we have two options. One is super, super um, low end. For those who want to be a part and just can't afford a whole lot, it's about like going to get um, a coffee. It's less than going to get a coffee and, and a bagel. Um, oh, sorry. Somebody says a bit louder. My voice in the morning is usually really soft. Sorry about that. Not so much later in the day when I'm full steam, but you know, hey, is this better, anyone? Um, so yeah, about like the a, a coffee and a bagel. Um, so seven dollars a month, and we are going to do all of our expert podcasts for that type of patron crowd. Um, we'll do clips like the one that was just a fire from Eric Skorzynski from the Preacher Boys podcast. He was our first podcast episode and the podcast is called Decode. It is where we decipher the impact of trauma and discuss ways to heal. So anything that is about understanding trauma and discussing ways to heal, we are going to have a an incredible lineup. Dr. Beth Ellison Barr is the next one. We have Patrick Weaver coming. We have um, just a whole bunch of amazing, amazing people. So the Decode podcast is a monthly expert podcast, and we'll throw in a couple of extras during Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And you also get access to the whole Coffee and Conversations library from the 15 episodes that we did earlier this year, and that's for a regular gift of seven bucks a month. Um, now I'm kind of allergic to the whole asking for a sponsorship and a regular gift, but I've realized that sometimes I just have to be okay with that because we don't have, Wild doesn't have like a foundation or corporate sponsorships or other people. We, I just do this. This is what I do because I'm called to do it. And so for those who do want to be monthly partners, um, I want to make sure that you have a way to do that. The link is in the description of the video and you can click and choose between because we have another level of partnership too. And that is for weekly in, in exchange for the deconstruct level of weekly partnership. It's $27 a month as your support to wild and um, you get all of the podcasts, so all of the monthly podcasts and all of the coffee and convo and all of the free resources 
that we give away and weekly trauma-informed devotionals studying through scripture. And that includes devotional, um, devotional journaling prompts that you can print off and put into a journal and think through for the week. It includes the weekly video. It includes an audio only portion if you don't like to watch videos and includes a written transcript. So my team has been super, super, super busy working to create all of these pieces so that you can have weekly devotionals and all the little perks that go with it. And that is for um, supporting Wild with 27 bucks a month and you get the whole shipping. So anyway, just wanted to let you know about that. And if that is something you're interested in and that is a way that you would like to support what Wild does so that we can keep providing all of our free resources to everyone and creating the courses and creating the workshops and all of those things, the Decode podcast at seven bucks a month and the Deconstruct devotional at 27 bucks a month are just, they're there, they're available now. And you can click the link in the, in the um, description of the video. So anyway. I hope you find this encouraging from Joel. And if you love this and you know that there are people who might want to support Wild and you want to share that with others, please hit share on this video. It's a really easy way to pass this on. Good morning, everyone. I see we've had people from Canada, from Australia this morning, from various places in the United States. And I just love our international group our little wild tribe. It's not little, actually. We're like 30,000 strong now. Is that amazing or what? At least on the Facebook page. Um, but yeah, so if that's something that you are interested in, let me know. All you have to do is click on the link and all the information is there. And lots of love to you. I hope that you have a wonderful day and that you sense God's love for you wanting to bring back what you have lost and reminding you that he is here to pour out his spirit on you, on you. All right. Have a good Thursday.